I'll bring the wine, you bring the glasses. What a great time we'll have while the last us. I can't wait to toast with you, so call me a cab. Hi, I'm Joanne, and this is Call Me a Cab, a show about tasting wine without intimidation, celebrity edition. On today's episode, we're going to try three wines from three different celebrity winemakers. I also have a special celebrity guest, Burl Mosley, that you may know from Crazy Ex-Girlfriend, Overthinking with Kat and June, and hundreds of other television projects. So without further ado, let's get started. Ta-da! Here is Burl Mosley. So you doing? We know each other from Crazy Ex-Girlfriend. Mm -hmm. He was one of the like... Sing a dance, a act extraordinaire, <laughs> and just recently came off the Crazy Ex-Girlfriend live stuff, yes, which was so yeah. amazing. Yeah, and you actually have my favorite song of the whole show, <gasps> really? which was "Don't Be a Lawyer." And oh. yes, I love that song. <laughs> and I think it's because I was young in the '90s, and so that dancing yeah. and those outfits—it yeah. was everything. Yeah, it's a throwback. I have a quick question for you before we get started. Mm -hmm. Do you drink wine? I do. Are you a wine person or is it just like a here and there kind of it's, thing? It's like a it's like a here and there kind of thing. Like I appreciate it, but I don't often seek it out because I think like sometimes you find one that's really good mm -hmm. and then I can never remember the name of it. All right, well these ones you'll be able to remember because they're all celebrity based, <gasps> like yourself. <laughs> so our first one is a Pinot Grigio from Drew Barrymore, who I love. Oh, okay. I actually love her. When I started researching how many celebrity wines, there are so many. Yeah. There's a lot of race car drivers, actors, of course. Dwayne Wade, that, mm, expensive. <laughs> I love you. You're not getting his wine today. He's like squashing the grapes like himself. Yeah. Well, and that's the other thing. You like don't know Coppola? how like, anybody, oh my God. That was the first celebrity wine I ever got. Oh, really? This one I know is made by a winery in Monterey. Ooh. And so like it's Monterey. like, I think Drew's like, these grapes and these grapes are my grapes, or the people mm -hmm. that grow the grapes are like, these are Drew's grapes. And we're about to have Drew's. Ooh, I can't uh, wait. Pinot Grigio. Mm -hmm -hmm. Ooh. So twist off cat makes it easy for me. Nice and chilled it looks yes, like. Yes, right. yeah. yeah. I actually used the refrigerator for this. I'll only do a taste. We can always go yeah. back. Yeah, I, won't, yeah, I won't get yeah, you yeah. drunk, I promise. No, I don't need it. We were just talking about overthinking with Cat and June, which I binge watched as much as I could. I was thinking a lot about that today because just prepping food and stuff, it was like, is he allergic to nuts? Is oh, he allergic no. to <laughs> cheese? Does he not eat cheese because he's really fit? I don't oh, know. Like really these were all these funny. things. So really pleasantly funny. surprised. You're like, no, I'm gonna eat all of this. Yeah, yeah, so. I'm gonna eat. I'm gonna eat everything here. Amazing. So I don't know a lot about wine. That's the okay. funny thing. No intimidation. Okay. We're just gonna try. I know they always swirl. Yes. Which, from what I understand, it it's opening it up. up the aromatics. Okay. And I'm gonna smell it. And then I'm supposed to smell fruit of some kind. So see if you can smell it. You're fruit. supposed to like stick your nose in so it. So you, right? yeah, you do that. Oh man, that smelled funny when I did that. <laughs> Oh, that's nice. So what do you smell? I smell like, it's almost like um, when you're walking down the street and the roses are in bloom. Oh, that's and you nice. you stick your nose into one of the roses. It smells like. That's a oh lovely God. thought. Cause I do, and the things are blooming right now cause mm -hmm. of all the rain, it's mm -hmm. been great. I smell like the beach. <laughs> oh, nice. <laughs> do you smell the beach? Or maybe some parts of the beach are pretty No, dry, I can so. see what you're talking about. Kind of like a Like a there's very sand, airy, salt in the yeah, air, kind yeah. of like. Atmospheric. Yeah. Now, are you usually a white wine drinker? I do. Okay. I do enjoy white wine. I'm like sort of, this is my adventure into white. Oh, okay. All right, so now we're supposed to sip it and see what we taste. All so, right. Here's Dan. Salud. Okay. Ooh. I'm noticing that it's very smooth. It doesn't have It like, is very smooth. It doesn't have like a bite to it, which I like. It doesn't get that thing on the back of your throat where you're like, <clears throat> Yeah, where you're like, Ugh. Okay. I'm going back in. Mm hmm It's a little, maybe... Like a lemon limey kind of thing. I'm tasting. I feel like this would pair excellently with uh, some fish. Oh, I was hoping you were gonna say herb ricotta. White fish. Because that, oh, because that's gonna happen. I'm sure this would pair <laughs> excellently with herb ricotta. I'm so glad you said that. That's really? what we have. No way. Yes, you have an excellent palate. That's well, fantastic. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So, on top of it. I, I am yeah. curious to see how food changes wine because that's I think my gateway into white wine because I'm always. This like, is like mm, the real mm, reason mm. I'm here, by the way. Oh, dude! Yeah. I will send you home with like a to-go box, so don't you worry. You're pretty little head. <laughs> there's all sorts of stuff in this. There's okay. Parmesan. There's <gasps> chives. And what do we do? We put it on this? We put it on that. Or you, you just want to lick this spoon, or I'll let you. That's so crazy. <laughs> right, boom. You do you, boo. I would I'm totally gonna, do it. I'm All not right. going to hand you food because. Sweet, sweet. So did you ever wait tables? 
Yeah, in high school I did. In high school, God, yeah. you're an early committer. I didn't wait tables, so I came to LA to be an actor. Oh, okay. And they make you wait tables. That's the law. <laughs> but yeah, I, when I started waiting tables, it was like hand washing galore. So now it's like I obsessively, like I touched a thing. Mm -hmm. I have to wash my hands. Okay. That was a good reaction. You're so good. Mm. Mm -hmm. mm. So do I eat this and then I drink this mm -hmm. and then see how it goes? You're right. natural. Ooh. I'm excited. It sort of enhances the, um, the flavor of the wine there. It was more lemony limey before mm -hmm. and now it's mm -hmm. like a little sweeter. Mm -hmm. Food and wine, yeah. apparently it's a thing. I noticed a little bit of a kick, a little mm. bit of a kick to that it. That was me. That's what I got. <laughs> <laughs> do you like it better with or without? With food or without? Oh, I don't know. Mm. I like it both because it's it's different. Yeah. Both ways. Both very enjoyable. I'm gonna have another yeah, one. Uh, see, that's a good sign, folks. Yeah. You said that you don't you don't know wine that much because you're like, I can never remember the thing that I like. So are yeah. you intimidated to order like at a restaurant or You know what? Or going to a friend's party and you're bringing something. Maybe a friend's party, but at a restaurant I love it because if they have like a whole like mm -hmm. wine like that book list, menu, yeah. yeah. Yeah, then that's crazy. But if they have like you know, six or seven whites and six or seven reds. And they're like, How okay. How do you pick? How do you pick? Do you, you rely on I the professionals? I go by region. I go by region. Oh. Yeah. Okay, well that's, that's gonna help you find your good wines again. Yeah, I go by region. What are your regions that you like? I enjoy uh, wines of the Spanish region mm -hmm. in particular. Um, they just uh, really suit my palate. French wines, sometimes I lean towards as well. Okay. But those Spanish wines, man. We've got one French wine today <gasps> mm -hmm. coming up, and we're doing Spanish wines on the next episode. Oh, so. nice. I'm sorry you missed that no, one. I missed I missed But you know, shot. just come back by. There'll be leftover chance. wine, so okay. <laughs> that's right. the beauty of doing this show. What if I just, like, sit in the background and just, like, hold <laughs> just the guitar? Be the, oh, like, just, like, be a Spanish yeah. influence on the show. I like, like it. Don't even, like, mention that I'm there. Like, people oh. can just, like, see oh, me Oh, you'll be like, like, some yeah. shots you're there, some like, shots you're gone. American summer, yeah, just, like, in the background. I think so. <laughs> Can you just do that in my life? Just yeah, like show up in the background? Yeah, You're at the DMV and I just walk by. Like, <laughs> yes. The next one we're moving on to, you said you liked France as one of your mm -hmm. regions. This in particular is Provence. Ooh. The celebrity, Brad Pitt and Angelina Jolie. Hey, I've heard of them. They, I think the kids are going to make something of themselves. Apparently they're still very involved in the winery and they're releasing new wine. Who do you think's like the most famous or most, like the one that blew you away that you've worked with or you've at least got real close to? I've worked with? I don't know. Plus I think once you work with them, they seem more normal yeah, to you. So they don't yeah. seem like this intimidating. Yeah. Something that I always do, like whenever I'm working on something with, you know, someone who's well known, I sort of like approach them like an animal in the wild because you oh. never know. It's like, it's like, who is this person? Like, you know, so it's very yeah. gentle. It's like almost like a lion, you know. Not that you should approach lions, but I'm just like, <laughs> I'm like but if you hey, did, this is how. How's it going? I'm Burl, you know what I mean? And then I just like see where they go from there, you know. Interesting. Oh, this yeah. is a hard one to open. Mm, there you. we go. I Got it. That, see, that's all it took. A little nice. belief. Yeah. That's all we all need. <laughs> just a little belief. I don't tend to get the star struck thing. And I think it's just because right. when you, once you're yeah. out here enough, yeah. Yeah. you either see the people at the grocery store or you did background work and you saw famous people. So it always blows my mind when somebody gets me, like I used to work at a gym. The one person that got me, Regina King. Oh really? And it's, and she's really, she's, you can tell she's one of those people that just wants to go do her workout, doesn't want to be bothered. Mm -hmm. I don't talk to celebrities because I say stupid, stupid things to them. What's the dumbest thing that you said? Yeah, I will. To someone? You don't have to say who it is, but what's the dumbest thing that you said to him? I did the whole, oh my God, you were in that movie. And he's like, no, I wasn't. <gasps> and then his friend is laughing and I'm like, oh. and I've had a beer in me at this point. I'm getting my second beer. And I'm like, no, I literally just saw the movie and you were in, what is, and he's like really mad. No, I wasn't like mad. Turn away. His friend is dying laughing. I'm like, what am I not getting? And the friend then tells me, not only was he not in it, but he was up for it and lost it to another guy that looked surprisingly like him. So I picked the sorest possible Oops. spot. Oops. So who was the celebrity? You'll never know. Yep. All right, so this is a rosé from the Provence region mm -hmm. of France. Mm -hmm. So I'm gonna go ahead and give us a little pour. Brangelina. Pour. Brangelina. Although now just Brad oh, and Angelina. Yeah, complete strangers yes, pretty much. Yeah. The, the different colors of 
rose kill me. Like this yeah. is this very light, almost not even pink. Like it's yeah. so. It's almost like bronze. Like yeah. Bronzeness too. Yeah, like like water that's touched metal or something. Like that's yeah. what it is. And then some of them were like hot pink, and some of them. Oh, so, right. mm-hmm. so I really mm-hmm. want to like rosés, but again, I've been like a red wine girl, so. I'm gonna let us taste this before I ask you the next question, okay, but okay. We'll do, we do our pretty little swirl, and swirl, the color swirl, is amazing. Smell it out. Okay, okay, huh. Oh wait, this smells like something else. Whoa. It's, I feel like it smells like a thing that's not wine, that, that's another alcoholic drink, and it's I can't. It's bold, this is bold. Like an apple cider or something, like it is like. Oh, I know, I know what you mean. I could see an apple cider. I could also see a mulled cider. <gasps> Ooh. Mm. Okay, I gotta taste okay. it now. Okay, ready? Okay, here we go. Jumping in. Mm-hmm. Oh my goodness. You're into it? Yeah, when it hit my tongue, I was like, oh, is there some fizziness to it? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what, I feel that a little bit. I was like, cause it was it was sparkling. Mm-hmm. Sparkling as it mm-hmm. was um, going down. Effervescing. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Not a Hot. lot, but just like a little bit. Mm-hmm. It's very tart to me. It Ooh, almost mm-hmm. tastes, oh, you know what it tastes like? Those, the, what, the watermelon um, candies, those little, um, you know. Jolly Ranchers. Jolly Ranchers. Yes. Watermelon Jolly Ranchers with alcohol. So I guess, mm. hey kids. <laughs> Stay away. Do you remember what right. you were first drinking when you first were old enough to drink? I think the first thing that I really like took to was a rum and coke. Yeah, the very first. Thing That's exactly that mine. Yeah, I haven't had rum in Pirates of the Caribbean. Years. Mm. Oh yeah, and this is the cute bottle. Yeah. yeah, that's true. Yeah. So this right, one, we, this? we get to do. It's feta, basil, mm. watermelon, and balsamic. Oh, I'm jumping in. Yeah. Hmm. 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 Okay. That's a whole bunch of interesting. It feels like mm-hmm. a salad without the salad. Yeah, that's delightful. Mm-hmm. Okay, well that's good. Mm. I think I, I, think I need another either. one. Yeah, I think go I for need it. another go one just it. to like, you know, really just to really mm-hmm. taste it. Because I think the first time I was like, oh, surprise. Yeah, you know? now you need to pay attention. Mmm. Okay. Okay, I'm really curious to see what you say. I'm going to okay. get more cheese in here and see if that. I'm jumping back in to the Brangelina wine. Mm-hmm. That's how this goes. Whoa. It like butched it up a little bit. Yeah, I think it actually uh, improved it a bit here. You know what's funny? When I realized when we're eating this stuff, which is all kind of on, the, like it's got salty elements, and it takes that like tartness out of the wine. Yeah. That for me is is the little bit unpleasant thing that I don't like about whites usually, and mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I guess whiteish, you know, whatever. But well, that's what that's what I was gonna say. This rosé, to me, tasted more like a light white wine when I first tasted mm. it, and then after. You know the pairing. Now it tastes. Now like it has a more of that fruitiness to yeah. it. I'm gonna give this a positive review. I yeah. like it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Salud. Salud. So uh, the question I wanted to ask you was about your celebrity name, which is your name. Mm-hmm. Is mm-hmm. that your given name, your birth name, Burl Mosley? Yes. yes okay. It's my given name. Do you ever thank your parents who named you pre-Google that you are able to Google Burl Mosley and you pop up? <laughs> You're the one I, that I, pops up? I have up? never thanked them, but ba- maybe now I will. I think you maybe should write them a lovely Can letter. Say, thank you guys so much. Appreciate it. When you first started acting, you were acting back in New York, I'm assuming, mm-hmm, at mm-hmm. school. Were you acting before that? Were you doing high school stuff yeah, and all that yeah, stuff? Yeah, okay. Yeah, I've been acting since I was a kid because I had a lot of energy and I think my parents were like, what do we do with this guy? You know, so, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Do you remember what you first first acted in? Yeah, uh, it was like Christmas plays and like Easter plays. Okay, like yeah. little kid? Yeah. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. my yeah. god. That was fun. And you were never intimidated by the stage or any of that yeah, stuff? That's yeah, so great. Yeah, yeah. Do you remember your first professional gig? It was a Pizza Hut commercial. Oh, sweet. Yeah, yeah, that's my very first thing. Yeah. There was a really nice moment this year when we were watching, I think it was the finale mm. of Crazy Ex-Girlfriend. And then oh, Bro Mosley this... came on in a commercial. Oh, really? <laughs> That's, right. That's right. I think it was. I think it was the second to last. Second to the last yeah, one. The that was pretty one. rad. That was really great. Yeah. Really oh, great. yeah. When I guess like the big finale was the live show. Yes. So yes. how how do you like doing the live shows compared to doing TV stuff and movie stuff? I enjoy all of it. It's all just you know uh, so creative and so much fun. Yeah. So I really don't see a difference between them. Maybe there's like a difference in the approach and the delivery. Like for instance, when we were at Radio City. 
that is a huge stage. It's also a huge venue. Yeah. So there was literally, you couldn't be too big. Oh, you know I mean? interesting. So instead of like doing like, you know, subtle like reactions or something like that, like you'd have to be like, yeah, you know what I mean? Like, Wah! you know, put your arms out whenever you can. Well, here's your performances Thank on you. Broadway and then we're gonna move on to the next ones. Ooh, that's a nice glass. Did you hear mm -hmm. that? Oh, shout out to Stoltman for the free glasses. Oh, and you're, you get to get to the cheese now. This Finally. is very exciting. This is very exciting. So this oh. is actually the first wine that got me sort of aware of celebrity wineries. This is called Dreaming Tree, which I hadn't heard of that at first, but my mom lives in Virginia. She didn't get into wine tasting until after my dad had passed away, but then I was like, well, let's really do this because I don't know much about wine, but I know more than right. my mom. Mm. So I'm like, we can do these things called wine tastings. And dude, in Virginia, they're so cheap. Oh, that's great. Because we live in California, so it's like, okay, and it's not even bad here like yeah. okay ten dollars will get you four wines yeah. you go there ten dollars get you like 16 sample pours yeah that's amazing yeah and, like, and it also explains because uh once at one of these wine tastings i ran into a friend from high school and she was three sheets to the wind <laughs> and it was amazing i was like hi and she was like mm -hmm. <laughs> Oh, you do have a good name to say drunk. Yeah. Burly, 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 burl. Yeah. Oh. Is that from something? Is that like a family name or is it like no, no. I feel like I've heard the name, but I don't I can't reference it to anything. No, I'm just uh like, named well, I know after Earl. This guy that uh, was sort of like a mentor to my father. Oh, that's so, really I mean, nice. Did you ever get to meet him? No, I never no, I never oh. got to meet him. Yeah. Does that carry any weight with it when you're named after somebody? Uh, I mean, no, not really. It's wow, kind of irresponsible. Like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. it's, it's, it's my name now. No, it is. It is. You're Burl Mosley on yeah. the internet. Yeah. Google yourself. You're, yeah. like, you're like, I do. That's how I keep my name at the top of the list. <laughs> when I was in Virginia looking for wineries that mm -hmm. we could go taste at the next time we were there, one of them is called Blenheim Vineyards. The owner of that vineyard is Dave Matthews from the Dave Matthews Band, who is from Charlottesville, Virginia. And, and he, all the little <laughs> wines are marching. He's owned this place since 2003. Blenheim, mm. the name comes from, I think, the building on the property from the family that had been there for like hundreds of years or something okay. like this. Okay. It's a small vineyard. They don't make enough to like make it and then ship it to the world. Right. So right. it gets like sold locally, which is beautiful. You get to drink the local wine when you're yeah. there. But enough of his fans were like, but we want to buy Dave Matthews wine. So he paired with a vineyard in Sonoma. So they make the wine and this is Streaming Tree wine. We've got the red blend and there's like a Cabernet and some other things. I really enjoy the label. I know don't judge a wine by its label, but I do enjoy the label here. Okay, that question for you then, how yeah. do you pick? By label or region. <laughs> and that's fine, like how else are you supposed to pick? Yeah, there was one wine that I was actually really fond of. Um, I don't know if it's still around, it was an Australian wine, mm. and uh, it came in like this wonderful, beautiful blue bottle. Oh. It had a, a non-traditional cork, and it had like a, a koala on the label. Aww. And I was like, I love all of these things. I was like, there's a koala on the label, it's blue, the cork is different. I was like, let's get it. And it was delicious. So if you see that koala wine, let me know, because I forgot the name of it. You know, they have the internet, you could probably be like, what is the... Blue bottle koala and wine. And then he gets sidetracked, he's like, Burl Mosley. And then I Burl just look at Mosley. pictures of koalas. Like, oh, I love when you hours. get on that kind of a warm haul. And just watch them like eat the van. So dang cute. So I will open this so we can we can actually... You're very good Drink at that. The wine. Well, I did wait till. There you go. Yeah. Now, we're going to go ahead and taste the Dreaming Tree Crush Red Wine, Ooh. which has little bitty words on the back that probably tell me what's in here. Oh, it's got grapes in it. So, let's just go with that. So, I know it's red. They're grapes. <laughs> It's a little bit chilled, which, how do you feel about chilled red wine? I enjoy it. Okay, that's good. And a matter of fact, you should chill your reds. The thought that you should not is actually a falsehood. Okay. Red wines are always weird to me. They always smell pretty bad to how, how they taste. Oh, I like, see what you're I saying. Don't, I don't tend yeah. to smell fruits. I tend yeah. to smell like funky stuff. Yeah, I see what you're saying. Earth. If it's earth, I'm lucky. This is deep. It smells yeah. like grilled meat a mm -hmm, little bit, mm -hmm. like a grilled steak. Very robust. I almost like... But I don't smell fruit. Do you it smell fruit? It reminds me of like a plum skin. The skin oh, of a plum. Oh, golly. Is what I'm smelling. Mm. I feel like everyone on this show has a better sense of smell than me. Because as soon as they say something, I'm like, oh yeah, I'm going to smell like, oh, that. Yeah. Whereas I'm like, I smell gasoline. You smell gasoline? Oh wait, no, that's... We got a leak. Hold on. Well, I got to close my eyes to smell it. Oh, I'm going to try that. Like... And I'm going to fall down. <laughs> really bad at equilibrium. Mm. Oh, that's lovely. You smell in like a way that sounds good to listen to you smell. <laughs> like I, I have my eyes closed, it's like, oh my God, whatever he's drinking, I want to have that. <laughs> All right, I'm going to drink right, this stuff. Okay. 
wow, that is one of the more pleasant red wines I have had. I'm so happy. Yeah. It's not too fruity where you're like, you have jelly in your mouth or anything. Yeah. But it's, um, it's nice and it doesn't have, it's not, uh, you don't have that bitter mm -hmm. at the end. Yeah. It's not very tannic. You don't get that. Yeah. Thing. I'm gonna jump in with this cheese now because yeah. I okay, let me show you what you got. So two yeah. kinds of cheddar. Okay. I forgot. There's a yellow one and a less yellow one, mm -hmm. <laughs> and then an aged gouda. I think I'm gonna try the gouda. It looks gouda. It's gouda. <laughs> <laughs> What's that crystally kind of cheese? I am going oh to God. have it on a cracker. Oh nice. That's what the real world environment would be. If oh there I was you go. Actually having this wine. Mm. He's just gonna eat the rest of the cheese. That's fine. <laughs> I just want this, like no theme music this week. It's just going to be these sounds. They're so good. <laughs> mm. Now when you taste it, mm -hmm. do you like smear it all over your tongue so you get like a good coating? So you're like, now I'm pairing the food with the wine. Well, I don't go crazy. I just kind of like slowly take it in. Mm. You know? You're so dignified. Oh. We try. Mm. It's funny because we're going to have a different experience too because you just had a different cheese than me. <gasps> oh, it's even better. Which one did you have? I had the, uh, the yellowy here, one. The okay. One. Yeah. Mine yeah. got better, but not by that much. It was man. That was a that was impressive. Yeah. Okay. So, the way it changed for me was that it was even smoother on my palate, and I tasted even more of the wine. It was as if the wine sort of opened up. Mm. I prefer the pairing of the red with the cheddar over the Gouda. I knew sure. it. When mm -hmm, I did mm -hmm. the cheddar, it had a little bit more of that tart acidity. Because you like white wines and because that's where your palate tends to go, I feel like mm -hmm. that would be something you'd like better in a red wine. Mm -hmm. So that mm -hmm. makes sense to me. Mm -hmm. Now I gotta try the last cheese just so I know. No. Just so I know. Mm -hmm. Come on, cheese. Wow, that was a totally different cheese. It's so good. Mm. Huh. Oh, I think I like that cheese the best with it. Mm. It was the lighter of the, because one is like a uh, yellow cheddar and one's like a white cheddar and I don't know what the difference is really. The, the white one's like creamier, and oh, everything was just wow. smoother. Did you just do that one? Yeah. Nice, like nice and smooth. Yeah. Afterwards. Very smooth. I don't That's generally incredible. eat with That's wine so too. Like for me, I feel like I've realized it's sort of a very American thing to just go drink. Do you tend to do wine with food or are you more of a... I tend to do wine by itself just because people be like, oh, hey, let's go out for a drink. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? But when I do do some wine with like a nice charcuterie board or something mm -hmm. like that, it's better. Always like it better. But I always forget. Buy yourself like a little wooden plate like this, you mm -hmm. suddenly want to be fancy every mm -hmm. night. And you're like, you know what? I'm just gonna put my pop tart on that or whatever because <laughs> it's a pretty thing to eat off of. Let me say this. You have to try this. I hope you have more gouda because I ate the last of it. <laughs> but I put that gouda on a cracker. With the fig jam. With the fig jam. Game over, son. Dude. It was so good. Before we wrap things up, I do want to ask you as a celebrity. Ooh. If you could attach your name to anything, it doesn't have to be wine, would you and what would it be? I would, and it would be athletic wear. I was going to say shoes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I like that whole pop shebang. You know, something that's nice and moisture wicking mm -hmm. and quick dry because I used to work out in like cotton t-shirts all oh, the time. Oh, and it's just... Know, I mean, it just stays damp. And then I started like to, to, you know, do the climb a cool thing or like swap it out. And after a while I was like, Oh my gosh, this is so much better. The stuff that's more functional, would it also be fashionable? Yes. Because I do feel like you're a fashionable guy. Like even right now you've got leisure stuff, but there's style here. Oh, like it's, thanks. yeah. With everyone's busy schedules, yeah, I feel like that would be so great. Do you know what you call it? No, no, I haven't thought of any names yet. I'll start brainstorming. Yeah, I think that's great. I think yeah. it's great. That about wraps it up. Yeah. I really appreciate you coming out and doing this with me. Well, thank you. Did I you have a good time? Blast. I had a blast. I had a wonderful time. If you were to get another bottle of anything we had today, what bottle would be your bottle? Surprisingly, the red. It's yours. <gasps> I have to go bags. <laughs> oh, nice. Yeah. So, well, thank you for participating in Game of Wines. Yes. Cheers. Cheers. Mmm. Mm. Mm. Mm.